With a simple dark gray exterior, the Dell Latitude 7350 doesn't stand out from the crowd until you open the lid. Inside is a bright, 13.3-inch Full HD display that converts from laptop to tablet with a tug of a latch. Our configuration features an Intel Core M processor, 8GB of RAM, and a 256GB SSD, which makes this Latitude a plenty-capable work partner. While I wish the tablet had ports of its own and didn't need the extra battery inside the keyboard to reach its combined 10-hour battery life, overall I was pleasantly surprised by this unassuming, business-oriented 2 in one. Like many business machines, the Latitude 7350 is understated but sturdy, with a dark gray aluminum case on the outside and a matte black plastic deck on the inside. A closer look reveals a beefy hinge with a latch on the left side that allows the screen to disconnect from the keyboard. I just wish this action felt a little less clunky. In tablet mode, the 7350 couldn't be simpler. The front is all black except for the silver Dell logo along the bottom. While that means there's no home button on the front, Dell resolves the issue by adding a home button to the right edge, above the volume buttons. The only other feature, aside from a lone headset jack, is the power button on the top side, which is recessed to prevent you from accidentally turning off your system. Reattaching the display to its dock means slotting the tablet back onto its proprietary connector and nearby metal tabs, and waiting for a satisfying click. There are no magnets involved so you don't have to worry about the keyboard falling off, no matter how you hold it. The main downside to the 7350's design is its size and heft. Measuring 12.6 by 9 by 0.78 inches and weighing 3.67 pounds, it's bigger and heavier than competing machines, such as the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 tablet, 11.5 by 7.8 by 0.56 inches and 2.4 pounds with type cover attached. HP Spectre X360 Convertible 2 in 1, 12.8 by 9 by 0.6 inches and 3.26 pounds, and HP's EliteBook Folio 1020 Ultra Portable Laptop, 12.2 by 8.27 by 0.62 inches and 2.68 pounds. For resisting the inevitable bumps and tumbles of life on the road, the 7350 features a military standard 810G rating for resistance against things like drops, shocks, and humidity. Specifically, Dell says the 7350 withstood temperatures ranging from minus 20 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, one hour of vibrations from 10 to 500 hertz and elevations of 15,000 feet, all while the system is operational. The keyboard also features a spill-proof design, so appending your soda won't destroy the machine, and a Gorilla Glass screen to protect the display against dust, IP5X certified, keys and more. With a roomy layout and nice, springy response, it took almost no time to adjust to the Latitude 7350's keyboard. In fact, it felt better than the keyboards on most of the laptops I've tested. I blazed through 10fastfingers.com's typing test. On just my second attempt, I hit 82 words per minute, higher than my typical average of 75 to 80 WPM. At 4.2 by 2.4 inches, the Latitude 7350's one-piece touchpad is well-proportioned, with lots of room to move in a soothing matte finish. Mousing around websites felt natural, and it was quick to respond to clicks and gestures, such as two-finger scrolling or pinch to zoom. When I first turned on the Latitude 7350, I wasn't expecting a screen this good. Its 13.3-inch 1920x1080 touchscreen nails the trifecta of important qualities good brightness, vivid but not oversaturated colors, and nearly perfect accuracy. When I watched the trailer for the second season of Silicon Valley, the only thing that looked better than the colorful NorCal offices were Ehrlich's greasy curls, which shimmered around the character in all of his obnoxious glory. The screen produces 365 nits of brightness, more than the tablet average of 340 nits, the HP Spectre X360, 339, the Surface Pro 3, 298 nits, and the dim HP Elite Book Folio 1020, 224. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.